During sleep, we remain unaware of our surroundings and our actions. Individuals living with family may hear amusing anecdotes about their sleep behaviors, but those who live alone may never discover their nighttime activities. Some people may shift positions or talk and walk in their sleep due to discomfort. Understanding our body's activities during sleep is challenging, but it is a natural aspect of life. However, one young girl woke up with fresh bruises every morning, leaving her parents increasingly concerned and speechless upon discovering the cause. Each day, after a restful night's sleep, her parents would observe new bruises on her body. Initially, this occurred only occasionally, leading them to believe she might be hitting herself in her sleep. The bruises were minor, initially barely noticeable, and few in number. Injuring oneself during sleep, especially during nightmares, is not uncommon. However, as time went on, they realized something was not quite right about their daughter. Her bruises were getting worse. They appeared bigger and deeper. Her parents were becoming worried, as this was certainly not normal. Where were those bruises coming from? They even started receiving questions from other people regarding their child's well-being. Many assumed that she was being abused by her parents or bullied by her peers. Everything changed when they sent her to summer camp. Like all the other kids, the girl wore skirts and shorts at the camp, and it wasn't long before the staff started noticing the strange bruises on her body. The girl spent all day playing outside under their supervision. She never injured herself at the summer camp and left home in the evening without any visible injuries. Every morning, she would arrive with new bruises on her legs and arms. No one could understand what was going on. The staff assumed that she was being abused by her family members and had no other choice than to report it to the authorities. Of course, the girl's parents never laid a hand on her and were also very concerned about her health. At first, they thought that she might have had an iron deficiency, so they made an appointment with their family doctor. Just as they were about to head out for their appointment, they heard a knock on their door. It was the social services. They informed the girl's parents that they had received a call from the summer camp about a possible child abuse situation. Her parents were in shock. They would never hurt their child, but unfortunately, there wasn't much they could do since they couldn't explain why their daughter had all those bruises on her body. The social service worker also spoke to the girl, and she explained that every morning, she would discover new bruises on her skin that weren't there the night before. Her parents informed the social service worker that they had made a doctor's appointment to determine what was going on. Her case was put on hold until further notice, and they were able to take her to the appointment with her family doctor. The doctor ran some tests, and the results showed that she was perfectly healthy. She didn't have an iron deficiency, which was a big relief for the worried parents. They were glad their child didn't have any health issues, but at the same time, they couldn't help but feel mystified by the odd bruises on her body. If iron deficiency wasn't the reason for the marks on her skin, then what was? The girl's parents were beyond confused and knew they had to find out what was happening to their child. So they went to the store and purchased a video camera. They agreed to set up the camera in their daughter's room and find out what was causing this strange bruising. They set it up on the desk next to her bed and started recording. After kissing their daughter goodnight, they turned off the lights and left the room. They felt a little relieved that night, knowing they would finally find out what was going on with their child at night. In just a few hours, they would get all the answers to their questions and prove that they were not abusing their daughter. Little did they know what they were about to discover. The next morning, their daughter woke up with new fresh bruises on her body. Her father entered the room, picked up the camera, and set it up to view the tape. Her daughter wasn't sleeping in her bed, instead, she was crawling. To make matters worse, she was crawling backward. The movements looked terrifying and completely unnatural. Her parents were left speechless. Their little girl looked like she was possessed. While it's normal to move around when you're asleep, crawling backward all night isn't. The way the girl was moving in her sleep horrified her parents. It was frightening, to say the least. Her parents finally had the answers to their questions though. After watching the tape, the girl's father contacted the social services and informed them about it. After reviewing the footage, the case was closed. Although no one can still figure out what is going on with the little girl at night, while sleepwalking is a thing, sleep crawling is something that we haven't heard of yet. Perhaps this is something that we'll learn more about in the future. What are your thoughts on this story? Share them in the comments below. If you like this video, Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest uploads. Thank you.